Hey buddies, some nuts guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're going to teach you how to get the best bobble in the game, the Ankh Shield. The Ankh Shield is awesome. It's a bobble as well as a shield. It can be used as an actual shield as well. Um, and uh, it's 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 great. It provides uh, partial fire resistance and immunity to knockback as well as most status negative status effects. Poison, nausea, blindness, um, not everything, but most of them. Um, so it's incredibly valuable to pick up, and it's a little bit complicated to get all the individual components that you need to craft it. So we're going to show you what you need to craft it, and then we're going to show you how to get those items, because a couple of them are a little bit ambiguous, whereas a couple you can just craft or find quite easily. All right, so these are all the items that you need to cr finally craft your Ankh shield. Most of these items are going into the crafting of the Ankh charm. As you can see, lots of things required for that. And the obsidian shield is actually quite simple. Um, a lot of these will have to be done in an anvil and will require levels. Uh, so if you ever check in the JEI, just go backwards one step and it'll show you, you know, you'll skip all of the enchantments and stuff and it'll take you straight through to the actual craft for the various things. Uh, as, as an example, here's another one. And here's another one. Okay. Well, these don't have enchantments, so you can see the recipes quite easily. So, let's start with the Ankh Charm. The Ankh Charm requires the sunglasses, forbidden fruit, vitamins, four gold ingots, as well as the ring of free action and the mixed color dragon scale. Starting from the bottom, we'll show you how to make the free action ring. So the free, the ring of free action requires the ring of overclocking and a shulker heart. Now the shulker heart is a fairly common drop from shulkers, but yes, you'll need to beat the ender dragon, which you need for two for the scale anyway. Uh, but you will need to beat the ender dragon, kill a few shulkers, you'll get a heart pretty quickly and easily. Obviously with anything that requires killing, having looting or advanced looting is going to help you. And that brings me to the Ring of Overclocking. Now, the Ring of Overclocking and the Forbidden Fruit are probably two that people struggle with most. Um, the Ring of Overclocking is a drop from archers called Strays. The Strays can be found either in ice biomes like this. Oh, hey, buddy. Um, ice biomes like this, Strays will spawn um, uh, usually at night. And normally what I would do when looking for Strays is I would normally just save an ice biome, maybe waystone it or just save it on my atlas. And whenever there's a blood moon, hit up your ice biome and kill as many strays as you can. I, without looting, with no looting at all, I got three rings of overclocking in one blood moon. So that's uh, pretty much a guaranteed way to make sure you get them. Or you can find one of these structures. These structures in the desert have stray spawners. So each of these four spawners is a stray spawner. So if you just come here and, uh, you know, don't destroy the spawners, make sure they all spawn and kill them, you'll probably get a ring or two from this spawn in the desert as well. It's a fairly common spawn uh, in the desert, so you shouldn't find, shouldn't have too much trouble finding that. Now, in terms of the, yeah, so that's the ring, Shulker Heart, you have now the ring of free action. Happy days. So the Forbidden Fruit uh, is a drop from, I believe they're called Husks. Husks will spawn at nighttime. They're the desert zombie variant. They will spawn at nighttime in deserts in light level zero, but they won't burn in sun. Not that that's necessarily relevant to their spawning. Um, again, if you just go to a desert during a blood moon, loads of these guys will spawn and you'll pretty much guaranteed to get a forbidden fruit in the, in, in the blood moon, even without looting. Um, and I believe there's also husk spawners in one of the desert structures that generates. I didn't manage to find one in this world. I do have a picture for it, so I'll probably throw it up on screen for you right now. It's the desert sort of massive building with like the Spartan looking statues outside the front. I'm pretty sure there's husk spawners in there. But worst case scenario, just go to the desert at night or during a blood moon and you should be good. Vitamins. Vitamins are a guaranteed drop from Elder, uh, Elder Guardians. So the best way to find these is if you just go to a doom like dungeon. If you go to an underwater doom-like dungeon, you're pretty much guaranteed to find an, quite a few Elder Spawners there. You'll you'll leave here with like 30 vitamins if you really wanted to, but obviously there's no need for that. So that's how you get the vitamins. The glasses, you can actually craft the glasses. Glasses are pretty easy to craft, just a little bit of spectral silk glass and a stick. 
Um, and uh, the next thing would be the mixed color dragon scale, which is made up of a bezoar and a black dragon scale. Bezoar, you will get them all the time. They're just, uh, they're fairly common drops from poison spiders, cave spiders. Uh, you'll have loads of these. Uh, the ender dragon scale uh, comes from the ender dragon. Surprise, surprise. A cracked black dragon scale. Um, I found these in a number of different dungeons. Uh, yeah, I found these in a number of different dungeons. And uh, I don't know how to guarantee finding one of these, but I've found them before killing the ender dragon in pretty much every playthrough. So you should, should, so you should be fine. So... To create the mixed color dragon scale, you need the black dragon scale. To make the black dragon scale, you need another star, the ender dragon scale, and the cracked black dragon scale. Oh yeah, if you haven't found a cracked black dragon scale, so many dragon scales, in the dungeons or anywhere random, you can use another ender dragon scale and surround it with spectral silt and you'll get a cracked black dragon scale. That's how you guarantee it. But I do know. The obsidian shield, yeah, it was just the cobalt shield and the obsidian skull. I don't think you can, oh, you can craft an obsidian skull. There you go. Fantastic. So that's not too bad. Uh, the Cobalt Shield, you cannot craft. So this will be found in dungeons. I found uh, that Lycanite dungeons, Obsidian Skulls, Cobalt Shields, Glasses, a lot of these things spawn in Lycanite dungeons in the chests, particularly the final chest room after the final boss. So that's definitely a good way of finding these as well. Um, I found multiple Cobalt Shields in one Lycanite dungeon in the past. But that is all the ingredients that you need uh, to make the Ankh Shield. We've gone through everything, and we've also gone through where to find them. So, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I go live on my Twitch channel pretty much every day, except Monday and Friday I usually take for editing. That's over at twitch.tv forward slash sumnutsguy. I run a 2.9 SMP server that anyone's welcome to join. All you have to do is jump on the Twitch channel, earn 3,000 channel points. That'll allow you to unlock the channel point, uh, the whitelist through the channel point redemptions, and then you'll be able to join us. Alrighty, guys. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.